What's going on, NGT community? It's Guns For Hire, and welcome to another episode of Ask The 8-Ball, my weekly Q&A type video series where you ask questions and I attempt to answer them uh, the best that I can. So anyway, and I'll try and get it out actually on a Friday for once instead of a Saturday or Sunday. It's just sometimes a little bit hectic. Let's get into the very first question I'm going to answer in. What happened to Goat Sauce? For those of you that don't know, Goat Sauce was another channel that I made uh, that I sort of mixed my passion for cooking and my passion for talking about gaming and entertainment. Uh, and basically I would show you simple things and I would actually show you cutting them up like I have uh, professional chef knives and everything. I'm the cook in the house by the way. Uh, if you're going to end up asking the question there. Uh, Mail Ace Pam, my wife, she does cook. She does. She knows how but she's she, you know, she's not passionate about it so she doesn't, you know, she doesn't know spices. She doesn't know how to create stuff like that. Um, so I end up being the cook. I'm the one who does the roasts or the you know, jambalaya or whatever it is that we're cooking because I'm passionate about cooking and I love new flavors. I love all sorts of foods from around the world. It doesn't matter where it is. African food, uh, Thai, Indian, Jamaican, uh, Mexican, Spanish, all those foods. I absolutely love them. Love trying new stuff. I don't even care. Even if most people are like, oh, I'm not trying that. I'm the one there putting it in my mouth. I will not judge it until I taste it. I will always taste something and then I'll go, do I like it? Do I not like it? And sometimes you got to let it grow on you. You got to get it out of your mind. Like uh, I know in some Southeast Asian countries, they actually eat a lot of um, insects. Well, not insects, bugs. I don't know what you're going to call it because insects, you know, have the three parts to them. Anyway, I'm not getting into a science experiment here, uh, but they eat them and to them it's nothing. And they're, they're experimenting with it because there's actually, they're all around. So why ignore it? Super high protein and if it's cooked properly, it's very, very delicious. So I would love to one day go there and try that. And I'm digressing. Anyway, goat sauce is gone because it's too time consuming and I didn't have enough time to actually do for one episode. It took a long time. And really, we can't afford to do that because, as you know, it's just Spider Bite myself. We're very, very busy, so it went away. However, however, there is a new channel in its place, and I'd like you to go and take a look because some of the questions that you're asking are actually directly already answered there, and some of them will be answered there. Um, for instance, what's my favorite movie? It's on the channel on the side. I answer all that stuff. My favorite book, my favorite movie, all that stuff there you're going to see. And it's called The Gun Shop. I'll put a link to it in the video here so that you can see it. It's probably already up. Uh, go there, subscribe. This, uh, The Gun Shop, and if you're wondering what The Gun Shop's going to be, it's basically removing all the IRLs, like this show. This Ask the 8-Ball is likely going to be on uh, The Gun Shop. They're all IRLs. They're all news uh, on video games, entertainment, electronic devices and sometimes just world news that I think certain stories sort of really impact us and I want to talk to them about you, talk to you about them. I kind of mix that up a little bit. <laughs> but you know what you know what I mean. Anyway, so we're removing that. And you may ask why we're doing that. Why did I remove all the news from it? Well, there's actually a, a growing number of you that just subscribe to Next Gen Tactics simply for the news. And I know we've been lacking lately. It's because we've been really busy with the We Can Pretend Find Macroff and we're just sort of getting up to speed here. Um, but I do plan on hitting this and hammering this hard. Daily updates, daily news, so if you're looking for a place to get the best and the biggest news stories, and of course, my unfiltered opinion, which tends to stir up a, a conversation, and it, again, remember, it's just my opinion, it's not set in gold. You have your opinion, I have mine, and that's it. And it's just really, it's just, I'm giving you my perspective on it. And you can sort of, it's like food for thought. You know what I mean? You can think about it. And if you disagree, then disagree. Just don't be an arsehole uh, or else I'm going to end up blocking you because I don't have tolerance for that. Uh, anyway, so that's the channel. It's called The Gun Shop. You could probably find it anywhere. If you went onto any channel, you know, when your channel and it shows the channel at the top, you could erase it right now and put it there. But again, the link's there. So anyway. Um, go there, subscribe. That's where all the news is going to be. That's where all my eight balls are going to be and likely all my podcasts. If you miss a podcast, I'm going to have it, try and have it so that it directly uploads uh, to that uh, channel. All right, here's a quick question. How long can I go without video games? Well, typically not very long since it's something that I do on a daily basis and I absolutely love them. I've always loved them. I, you know, I've always been passionate, but the one thing the one thing, and I mentioned this actually in the other 8-Ball, the one thing where I could care less about 
um, uh, video games and I could probably go the rest of my life without them as if I was in a situation where I was on uh, a deserted island. It has to be tropical because number one you need it for growth of vegetation, you need it for the abundance of wildlife per square meter or whatever, uh, you know, square acre, the amount of wildlife that's contained in there. And then you've got to be very careful on how you maintain that, you know what I mean? But anyway, that sort of idea, for me, that's like an adventure. And I'm all about experiencing exciting new things. And to survive is a constant adventure. There is no dull, it's not like you go there and you'd, you'd be like, oh, well, I'm, you know, I've been doing this for three years, I'm so bored. There is always something that you've got to learn, always something you've got to perfect. And you never will be the master of survival in that situation there. You know what I mean? Building shelters, learning how to create these self-sustained ecosystems for you and possibly your family, whoever it is. I mean, it wouldn't be fair for my kids because they think I'm all crazy. Taking them into some crazy jungle, I'm like, this is where we're living. Start building your bed, kids. You know what I mean? I wouldn't do that. But that's a one time when I wouldn't care about technology. I wouldn't care about anything. Don't care about a house. Don't care about fancy cars. Anything like that is irrelevant to me. I am absolutely dead passionate about that. So that's the only thing that really would take it. Other than that, I'll probably always play video games. I wouldn't want to go away from video games too much, too long. You know what I mean? Unless I'm traveling or something like that. But even then, I kind of want to know what's going on in the video game world. So I may not be playing, but I'd always be reading news stories. All right, my opinions on DICE and the upcoming Battlefield 3 video game. Those are actually going to be answered on The Gun Shop, my new channel. I'm actually going to, when I'm done recording these, I'm going to be doing my full opinion on uh, Battlefield 3. I have a few other news stories that i got to go. Today is my get the friggin' video game news stories done and completed on the channel. And there's probably going to be a lot on there. So, uh, you know, in, in true NGT fashion, I'm going to spam the crap out of that channel. But just to get it out, on a normal day, it's probably going to be about three or five, uh, three or five, Oh, hold on, it's my son here. Don't come in front of the camera, okay? You say hi. No, no, just say hi. Don't come in front of the camera. Mommy. Hi. Okay, you stay there for a second. Let me just answer this question. Okay? <laughs> I'll get right back to you. A little family interference, but it's real. And this is real, so why not? I would show you him, but uh, my wife is a little bit hesitant. Uh, and so am I, really. I mean, he's young. How old are you? Good. No, how old are you? No, not two. You're three. Three. Three years old. What's your favorite video game, buddy? Fat Princess. Fat Princess. Yes, it is. Okay, you go sit on the stairs there, and I'll be done in just a second. Okay, buddy? Okay. Super good job, buddy. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, kid interference. That's what we used to call it. Kid interference. When you're playing a video game, and your buddy's over, and you're really in an intense battle, all of a sudden the kid comes up, Dad, Dad. It's like, and then you lose, and you're like, ah, kid interference. But it's all, uh, it's all good. It's a good interference. But anyway, um, three, three to five videos I'm looking at per day that I'm going to be uploading to that channel. No more than that. And all news related uh, so you can get your news there. Anyway, that's it. So if you're looking for the Battlefield, Battlefield 3 and my opinion and what I'd like to see happen with it, uh, definitely check that channel out. It'll probably, probably be up later though because again, i got to film these and get a few other news uh, videos out first. All right, another question is, will I get any more tattoos? Yes, I would like to. I've got to finish the one on my back first, though. Uh, it's got to get colored in. It's just a, t a ton of hours. i got to commit to that. I do actually want some tattoos uh, either on my forearms, uh, a full sleeve, or a half, sle half sleeve. Full sleeve basically means from the shoulder all the way down basically to the wrist covering the entire arm, or from the elbow joint up, which is a half sleeve, uh, something there, probably something Japanese. I like the Asian sort of stuff, like koi fish, that sort of stuff, maybe even another dragon or something like that. Anyway, so yes, I, I would like it. Uh, or a band, and maybe a band on the other side, like a thick band, not a thin one, and no barbed wire. Something sort of artistic, you know what I mean? Will we be covering Homefront? I can tell you that we are going to actually take a look at it. We are going to play it. There will be some videos on that game. And it's difficult for us to say what game we're going to be covering right now because as you know, like even Bulletstorm, I've got to finish it but I'm just not motivated because not enough of you watch it. And, and remember, I mean, the Bulletstorm was me just fail, it was a fail through, kind of like my Prince of Persia. If you ever watched that, it was just a fail through, just me having fun. And most of the time I was having 
uh, some pop before I play, so I end up failing a lot, but I'm just having fun, I'm not stressed about it, and it's hard for me to continue, number one, because people troll and they think that I'm like trying to do a walkthrough, which I'm not. It's like I can't even have fun in games anymore. I can't show you a fun game without people, you know, critiquing it, and it, quite frankly, it pisses me off, so I don't like doing them anymore. I don't, it's like I can't have fun, you know what I mean? Which is why I like doing these. This is just us talking, well, it's me talking, you listening, and you sort of talking with the comments. But anyway, we will cover it, and hopefully it's going to be one of those games that blow up. Maybe, hopefully, everyone does like it. And that way we can justify covering the game. There's no, I don't want to waste my time covering a game where 2,000 people watch the videos. That is a complete waste of my time when I could be creating something that more people will actually like. You know what I mean? More people are interested in. We're about entertaining people, and we're not entertaining people if we're just doing a tiny little game. You know what I mean? We can't justify that time because we work all the time during the day, so it's very, very difficult to justify that. But yes, we will be looking at Homefront. Who came up with the name Next Gen Tactics? Um, actually, and I believe it was actually Spiderbite who came up with it in the end. Both of us, when we sat down, um, we sat down and we just put tons and tons of different domain names that we thought would be cool, uh, that we thought we would like. We went through them all, we exchanged them back and forth, and we sort of minimized the list, and in the end, we kind of both looked at Next Gen Tactics on uh, Spiderbite's list, and we're like, yeah, I think that's the one. I mean, that's a really good, uh, that's a really good name or whatever. You know what I mean? And then afterwards, here's a funny thing too, and quick little story here. When we came up with it, we had no idea of this, uh, this channel, or I think they even have a website called Next, Next Gen Walkthroughs. There's Next Gen Updates, Next, Next Gen Walkthroughs. We're oblivious to these things. As much as people think that we're not, you know what I mean? We thought tactics because that's what we, well, I say what we do, but we kind of been straying away from that a little bit. But anyway, we're still there, but it's just not as focused. Um, but anyway, I mean, that's really, we look, next gen was consoles, tactics is what we do, next gen tactics, easy. It's not like, hey, let's go and see what these really popular websites are called, and then we'll rip off their name. That's not how it was done. But anyway, Spider White did come up with the name, basically. And then we just both said, yeah, that's the one we want. Thousands of movies and TV shows stream directly from your PS3, Xbox 360, Wii, or PC computer. Click on the link in the description of the video for your free one-month trial membership, courtesy of NextGen Tactics.